ready to cut three acres with a battery-powered mower? And you can ride on it. We'll be right back. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. We've got the Ryobi ZT540E. Now this is their zero turn, 54 inch, 48 volt, all battery powered mower. In fact, it powers five different brushless motors. But before we get into any more details, let's just dive right in, take a closer look at each one of these features. Then we'll use this machine and then we'll come back and talk about the pricing, about the warranty and what we thought of the performance. Now also, let me let you know that this is an expensive mower. It's not a cheap one. It's not a few hundred bucks. But before we talk about pricing, I wanted to let you know that we're going to do this review where we're kind of testing runtime and some of the performance and cut quality. But we're cutting some Bahia grass and a big field of it. But then we're also going to come in a part two and we're going to mow some St. Augustine grass and actually put this in a, in a homeowner's hands that actually has a much more manicured lawn. So then we'll actually look at cut quality on St. Augustine turf as well as what he thinks of it versus his rear engine typical uh, lawn tractor style lawn mower. So this won't be just a single video review. We'll have a follow-up review probably in a month or so as well, but let's get right to it and then we'll come back and talk about pricing and warranty. This is the Ryobi ZT540E. ZT because it's a zero turn and 540 because it's a 54 inch cut or a 54 inch deck, uh, which that spans with three different blades to get that 54 inch cut. Now this is a 48 volt mower. So it's powered by 12 volt, four different 12 volt batteries. They are lead acid batteries. They're not lithium ion. However, these are brushless motors that both drive the rear wheels. So you have two different independent brushless motors that each wheel gets its own brushless motor and each blade has a direct drive brushless motor as well. So three different brushless motors power the three different blades independently as well as each wheel is driven by its own independent brushless motor. Now this is a side discharge only, so you don't have a bagger option at the moment, but who knows that may change for Ryobi and I would expect that that probably will change. Now the deck is a semi fabricated deck. Um, so it looks like a lot of it is formed, but it does seem to be a decent thickness. Uh, looks like 10 gauge or maybe even uh, eighth inch steel to create the deck and it is a very sturdy deck as well. You also get a rectangle tube chassis that seems to be pretty stiff and you get the swivel tires and wheels on the front side with obviously the independently controlled driven wheels on the back. You get adjustable steering arms here so both you can actually loosen this bottom bolt here and adjust the actual uh, angle as well as if you wanted them up even higher you can move those up a hole as well now the 48 volts of batteries or the four different 12 volt batteries are here under this lid and when you initially get this when you initially get this you'll have to plug this plug together because it will be separated to make sure it's not powered while in uh, in shipping and then there's a 128 volt fuse right here as well in case anything happens and shorts out it will blow that fuse first but this is where the four different 12 volt batteries are housed here on the back is a single port for charging so you just plug the charger cable into it and uh, let it run overnight so even if it's fully depleted an overnight charge on the 110 volts uh, should completely charge the mower so they're very easy just to plug that in and not have to worry about pulling batteries out. Now it also comes with a towing plate. You have to add that or, or put that on. It actually comes with it. it, comes with the two bolts as well. Very easy to just grab a 12 millimeter wrench or socket and add that plate to it. You also get 12 different positions for the deck from an inch and a half all the way up to four and a half inches. So very easy to adjust the deck. You also have kind of this lockout, if you will, to, uh, to set wherever you typically prefer your lawn to be mowed at. So if you wanted it two and a half inches, you can set it there and then easily just drop the deck all the way in and it's gonna lock out in place for you. So you don't have to worry about it going below. Uh, so just kind of a, a memory switch, if you will, where you can set that uh, to your preferred location. And then for travel, raise it all the way up and out of the way. 
You have an adjustable seat here, so easily uh, slide that seat forward and back. And by the way, it does offer plenty of room, which we'll show you here in a moment. Uh, double cup holders. So easily hold your larger thermos style cups as well as uh, any water bottle, um, but your large cups are gonna fit in there easily. And then you have two different storage compartments, one here that'll just kind of hold your knickknacks or what have you. Uh, and then the one over here, get a little bonus. So about the same size over here, but also you have a little indention right here so that you can plug your phone in to the USB port supplied as well. So USB type A uh, with a one amp output that comes off the battery. So charge your phone while you're listening to your tunes or what have you while you're mowing. Pretty good bonus there. Controls are very simple and laid out well. Uh, basically you have a key that provides your on off as well as auxiliary. So once you turn it on, it's gonna beep at us by the way, since there's nobody sitting in it. There's this pressure switch under this seat here that you can see once somebody sits in it, then that will turn that alarm off. So that's why it's beeping at us. See easy to read gauge there of the battery supply. So we're at 40% and at 2.1 hours of mowing. So you have your battery indicator. Uh, then we have the LED light. So turn those on and you see it glows green. And then you can also turn on low speed drive and low speed cut. Very easy to engage the blades. You just pull this up. That will turn the electric motors on, the brushless motors on on the blades and start those spinning and to turn it off, push it down. So you get 17 inch rear tires and the front are right at 12 inches tall pneumatic slick tires. You also get five different rollers on the deck, three across the front and two on the back. That's gonna keep your deck from uh, scalping your yard when you're in a situation where the motor, mower's tilting quite a bit. And then we also have the LED lights on the front. So if you're wanting to cut at, at dusk or at dark, uh, you can definitely do so providing that light right out the front of the mower. In addition to the seat being able to adjust forward and back, you can also raise and lower these armrests. So if you don't want them there, uh, you can raise them up or put them down and rest your elbows on there to uh, help you relax just a little bit when you're mowing. Sorry for the bumpy ride that may happen right here, but uh, I really wanted to give you the perspective of what I have here, at least to the best of my ability. Now I'm every bit of 6'2 and I am stretched out on this mower. So I've got the seat all the way back, but I've got more room than my gas powered zero turn that's a full size industrial unit. So very impressed with the leg room that I have here. And it doesn't get in the way at all uh, with the stick controls. So even with the stick controls all the way up and vertical, they're nowhere near my knees, nor even all the way forward are they anywhere near my knees either. Impressive results from this mower. You probably see the time lapse still rolling here, but we cut a full two and a half acres. That's at least two and a half acres on that front field above our shop. Now we even, well, let's talk about that. So after cutting those two and a half acres, we still had more than 40% of battery life left on the mower. Now then we mowed some other stuff that's kind of hard to measure because it's just bits and pieces here and there, but, but I would say we mowed over three acres and we still have battery life left on the mower. So will it cut three and a half acres? Yeah, I think it probably will, or at least you have a good shot at it. Now that's also gonna depend on how thick it is, how tall it is, how fast you're mowing, that sort of thing. Now talk about cut quality. If you know anything about Bahia grass here in Central Florida, we're loaded with it. Any of your big fields are typically uh, Bahia and it grows very well here, but it also grows in nice sandy soil or in sandy conditions, which wreaks havoc on blades and mowers. It's a very tough grass to cut as well as what it grows in in the sand. It also makes it even tougher to cut. So it's not an easy grass to cut. And I say that to tell you that in full speed, 
and cutting this bahia grass that was very tall, there were some parts that were, you know, eight, 10 inches tall, that it did leave some stragglers. And what I mean by that is the actual seedlings that like to grow nice and tall are very tough. And so we're, if we were mowing, mowing full speed, it would leave a couple of those stalks sticking up. But as far as the grass portion, it would cut that nice and clean. So if you understand Bahia, you know what I'm talking about here, but you can also see in some of these pictures or some of these images and, and, uh, and video that it left a few of those. Now it wasn't a lot. It wasn't like there was a field of them. You would just notice a few of those would lay over and not get cut. Now that's a couple of things there. Number one, a lot of times you can correct that uh, with blade quality. Something with a lot more lift in the blade can actually cut that better or nice and sharp blades. However, these were brand new blades, so they should have been sharp enough. But once we slowed down just a little bit, it cut all those stragglers no problem at all and gave us a nice perfect cut. But I did want to be honest with you in letting you know that we did see some of it, some of that when we were in full speed and we were cutting, you know, as fast as we could. Otherwise, in the just the grassy portions where we didn't have those seedlings and, and those stalks sticking up, again, it cut it very well and even cutting into some of the weeds and things like that, it would cut that right off with no problem whatsoever. We didn't really notice any bogging. We did run it off into some high stuff and yes, you could get the blades to bog a little bit. But as far as just cutting your grass, it did very well. Go about as fast as you want to. Plenty of leg room in there, as you saw going over the features. I'm, I'm 6'2 and mostly legs, and I had plenty of room to stretch all the way out on this mower. As far as the features go, I really like a lot of the features. Uh, you know, the adjustable seat's nice. Now, it's not a full suspension seat. Now, if you're in a typical homeowner tractor or homeowner lawn tractor zero turn, then you don't have a full suspension seat anyway. But if you're coming from or kind of, you know, uh, comparing this to a full commercial blown um, a zero turn that has a full suspension seat, you'll definitely see a ride quality difference just in the seat bottom, if you will. But as far as it has, you know, two springs under the seat, like your typical homeowner zero turn, it does quite fine. But just again, wanted to give you that comparison. It's not like you're riding on a, you know, a $10,000 zero turn with a full suspension seat on it. Uh, now pricing for this mower is $5,000. You're looking at Home Depot has them for $49.99. Now they also have a three year warranty. However, the batteries are only covered for one year. Now you should get a longer life out of that than one year, but I just wanted to be clear with you and let you know that the batteries, the lead acid batteries are only good for one year. Now the thing is there are four different lead acid batteries. There are 12 volt lead acid batteries. Now, so replacing those should be a lot less than lithium batteries, but again, they're not going to be cheap either. So you're probably going to be a few hundred dollars deep into replacing all four of those if they go bad. At the same time, as we mentioned, it should last you at least a few years if you're taking care of those and keeping them charged, not running them all the way dead and keeping them charged. Now charging this mower is very easy. One plug, plug it in and you're good to go. So it was, it was nice to see that. You don't have to remove these to charge them. In fact, once you plug the batteries in initially, you don't really have to touch it at all. You just plug the plug in, it runs off 110 volts. And if you've run it all the way dead overnight, it should charge those within eight hours. It should have all four of those batteries up to a hundred percent. The low speed mode worked really well, especially if you're not comfortable with a zero turn yet. It is a different feel than driving with a steering wheel. And in fact, if you're used to a gas powered zero turn, you may see a difference in this too because it's much more responsive. So it's a lot quicker on the steering input because a lot of times with the hydraulics where we're not dealing with hydraulics on this mower, we're dealing with direct drive brushless motors and so they are a lot more responsive than a hydraulic system on a typical gas powered zero turn. However, they're a lot better than when we initially rode one of these several years ago when battery powered zero turns first started coming out. We had the opportunity to ride a few and they were almost uncontrollably and, that, and uncontrollable. That's not the case with this Ryobi. It is very responsive, but it's not too responsive and you can get used to it but I would recommend it. Try that slow speed or that low speed mode uh, to mow with it first and that will get you kind of acquainted with those controls and then go into full speed and you'll be very comfortable with it. Now, as far as sound goes, virtually no sound. If, if uh, I think there was like 50 decibels, 60 decibels, if we were driving with just the motors, but again, a lot, a lot of that is just the ambient noise uh, around us as well. Uh, then when you turn the blades on, it does go up to 89, 90, 91 decibels. So you still should probably wear 
ear protection. So it's the whir of those blades. It's not the actual motors, but the actual blade spinning that you're hearing that's driving those, that decibel rating up. But as far as just driving with the blades off, it's, it's virtually no sound whatsoever. Uh, very impressive mower uh, from Ryobi. Love the LED lights on it, so you can mow at night if you want to, uh, mow at dusk or early mornings. Uh, check this thing out from Home Depot if you're interested in it. It's going to be a select group of people. I, we get that. $5,000, that's a big price tag. However, you're no longer dealing with gas. You're no longer dealing with oil. Uh, no pulleys, no belts to break. None of that maintenance items that you would typically have on a gas zero, zero turn mower, it, you're not going to have any of that here on a battery powered zero turn. Basically, the maintenance is sharpen the blades and then replace batteries when they fail, which again should be several years. So be sure to check out the Ryobi ZT540E. Also, let us know what you think of this video. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, would you hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already? And by all means, if you hated our video, then give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.